All right, good morning. Hi. What is that noise? <laughs> My water bottle's making a crazy noise. All right, if anybody's there, can you let me know that you can hear me and then we'll start in about five minutes. I just always like to do the sound check with those who are listening. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, I don't know what time it is for you guys. Can anybody let me know? Write in. Kit, sound good? We're good to go? Yay! Okay. Awesome. All right, you guys, this is, uh, you're going to use light weights. So anywhere from one pound to three, if you want to go up to four and five, you can, if you will, just please be mindful in certain things that we do with jumps. Of course, if you don't have weights, do not worry. I'm holding very light weights, so you can just do it with your own body weight if need be. And as I recommended yesterday, if you happen to have two water bottles, that's a great option as well. Uh, so as long as they're not slippery and you can actually really hang on. This is a longer routine than normal. This is a 45 minute routine. Um, I recommend that you have some water with you. If you sweat a lot, grab a towel. I recommend wearing shoes. Some of you prefer to do it without shoes. That's totally fine. Is my mat centered? Not really, huh? Ugh. <laughs> Let me see if I can push it a little bit this way. Okay. All right, so we will start in two minutes. Um, if you have time, if you have the time, uh, stay with me for about five minutes after the routine to chat about tomorrow's routine and then if you just have any questions about today's routine or you know life questions <laughs> I will try to answer them as best I can. I hope everyone is staying home, staying safe and staying as sane as possible. I'm curious after this routine I'm curious to know how you guys are spending your days. You know I'm looking at we have a, I have a stepdaughter and when we were doing homeschooling with her, we had to create this calendar, this routine. And I thought, why aren't adults doing this for themselves? You know, it's only for the kids, but we should be doing that for ourselves too, creating a routine. So I'm hoping that this is part of your daily routine, that it's on your calendar. Okay. So we'll start in one minute. water bottle likes to make noise. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? It is 8 a.m. for me. It's probably a different time for you, but let's... All right. Let's ground ourselves. You ready? Legs wide. Knees soft just like we did yesterday. Four big, deliberate deep breaths. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Last one. Modified jumping jacks. More advanced. Take it up. Arms up, loose hands here, warming up that body. Three, two, one. Run in place, shake out your hands. Little tap, tap, tap. If you don't want to hop, tap, tap. Ten seconds here. Five. 
And from here, we're going to go into a side squat. Now open up your knees as you get down there. Feel that inner thigh stretch. And then step back in and alternate. Chest remains up. Notice that my toes are turned out, so I get that extra inner thigh stretch. By the way, thank you so much for your feedback yesterday, letting me know what you, routines you want and also how you felt about the last routine. I really appreciated it. Last one. And hamstring kicks, flexing the feet. This is modified, more advanced running in place. Loose hands. Ten seconds here. Still in our warm up. Five. We're going from a squat to a calf raise. Ready? And go. Feet are a little bit wider than your hips. Squat. Come up onto your toes. Warming up your ankles. Warming up your calves. When you lift the heels, I want you to squeeze your butt at the top and really pull your core in tight so you have that balance. Ten seconds here. Good. One more. Nice. Now this time, bring your feet a little closer in together. It's a mini squat. And when you come up, you just grab one knee to really loosen up the hip. Go down. Alternate. Getting that mobility in the hips. Really pull that in as though you're lying on your back hugging the knee into the chest. Some of you already feel the balance of that right away. Again, always a good idea to be thinking about your strong center. If you see me looking off to the side, I'm looking at the timer. So don't think I'm not with you. Just trying to hold myself accountable. One more each. I'm going to do the right one one more time. All right, here we go. We're going to begin, you want to grab your light weights. Grab a sip of water if you'd like. We're going to do four moves, two times. We're going to finish that, each four moves, with a balance exercise. Alrighty, here we go. Starting with a step back lunge with a shoulder press. Starting in three, two, go. Step back into your lunge. When you're down there, shoulder press and stand. Alternate. Down. Now I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me and so you can see my form. Keep going. Notice that when I step back, my chest is up. I'm not leaning forward. And that my front knee is right over my ankle. It's not going over my toes. You can also see I really bend in my back knee to get as close to the floor as possible. Keep going for me. Ten seconds. Last one here. Okay, on this next one, you can either use the weights pushing up or place them onto your shoulders, especially if you have heavier ones. Modify, join me, step, step, back, back. Here's more advanced. Ready? Hop forward, hop back. So it's like you're hopping onto your mat and back pushing your arms up. Now, of course, pushing your arms up is optional. You can keep them here on your shoulders. You can also have them in front of you, or you can choose to let the weights go altogether. Light on the feet, especially if you're in an apartment, right? <laughs> My poor husband below is sleeping. He can totally hear this. Wake it up. You got it, 15 seconds, maybe pick up the pace. Going 10. Going 5. And good. Our move out of 4. You're going to turn to your side. Modified looks like this. Pulse, pivot, pulse. Pivot, pulse. Stand, 4, punches. Then we repeat going backwards. More advanced. Hop, side. Hop forward. Hop, side. Stand. Punch four. Ready? Three, two, 
One, hop, face forward, turn over your right, stand, punch. Four, three, two, one. Hop, forward, side, four, three, two, one. Hop, forward, side, four, three, two, one. Keep going, I'm gonna show the modified pivot, pivot up, squat, pivot, squat, pivot, squat, pivot. Keep going. Now, if you're like, but kid, I'm only turning over my right shoulder, don't worry. You have another round to do this. And I totally just messed up that one, didn't I? Here we go, keep going. 10 seconds. Last one. And rest. All right, coming down to the floor with just one of your weights. You're in a plank position. You're holding the weight in your left hand. If you need to modify, you can stay on your knees. Otherwise, come off. You're gonna row your left arm, row, and then the other leg, the alternating leg, kicks up. Okay, ready? Starting in three, two, and let's go. Row, kick, row. Now, as you're doing this, the elbow needs to stay into the body. It doesn't flare out to the side. So you're pulling up, kick. Getting that wrist to the rib cage. Remember, we're doing another round. So you're gonna get to do the other side. Fifteen. Last five. Come to stand. All right, grab both weights. We're now doing a balancing exercise. With your right leg forward and your left leg behind you, pitch your upper body forward. Let me show you a diagonal so you can see. My chest is up, my palms are facing in. Start to row your arms so you get that same vibe that we just did in that push up. Sorry, in that plank. But now take your back leg, lift it up, so you're balancing, and continue. Your right leg, your standing leg, is a little soft. You're really feeling those muscles between the shoulder blades squeeze together. Chest pulls forward, ribs and abs up. I'm so curious to know what music you guys are playing in your background right now. <laughs> I hope you're playing music. 15 seconds. Good, this is 10. Last two here, and come to stand. All right, are you ready? Let's repeat. Step back lunges with a shoulder press. If you need some water, please feel free to grab it. But I'm gonna begin in three, two, and let's go. Down, shoulder press, and up. You want to really push into that front heel to bring you in. Remember, if it's a small movement like this, tiny, that's still great, right? The idea is you just keep moving your body and you keep focusing on form and breath. Fifteen seconds. Last five. Come to stand. Ready? You have a hop forward and back, pushing your arms up or keeping them on your shoulders or here. And let's go. If you're choosing to do the modified, which is a step forward, just do me a favor, alternate the leg each time, right? Get some rhythm in it. Forward, back. Light on that body. You're doing awesome.
15. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, this is the squat pivot. So if you did the modified, you start here, the left leg is staying stable as you squat, pivot, pivot, stand, punch for four. Ready? And go. Hop, jump forward, hop, side, and stand. I keep messing up this move, just roll with me. Hard to talk and do. Four. Yup, chest up, light on the body. This is the last one coming up here. Ready? And go. Hop, 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 and go. Nice. Come down to your plank now. You're going to hold the weight in your right arm. Remember that it's the other leg, the left leg, that kicks up. Ready? Hold your plank and go. Row. Left leg kick. Right arm row. Left leg kick. Now continue. For those of you choosing modified, this is a great option. On all fours, you can also choose to extend just your left leg back. Row, down, kick, down. Row, and kick. Keep going for me. Draw that chest forward. 10 seconds here. Last five. And relax. All right, come up to stand with both weights. Balancing exercise now. Your left leg is forward. Right leg is back. Pitch your upper body forward. Row your arms. When you feel you got the balance in the form, start to lift your back leg up. You should be imagining as though I have a string attached to your chest and I'm pulling your chest forward as you squeeze the shoulder blades together. Remember, you can bend in that left knee. Find that energy there. Woo! Wiggle your bottom toes a little bit. Keep it in the heel. 10 seconds. Then we move into a new set of moves. Woo! Give me two more and come to stand. All right, 30 second break, grab some water. I'm gonna demonstrate this next one. So on this next one, it's a sad, lighter, sad side lateral. Wow, my words today. High knees with a shuffle back. So let me demonstrate real quick while you're grabbing a sip of water. Arms are like this, you go high knee to the side, but then watch what I do with my arms, pushing them forward as I side shuffle. Alrighty, so let's start in 10 seconds. Uh, how you feeling? You having fun yet? Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. High knees. And then side shuffle, pushing your arms forward. Remember, we're doing this twice. So don't worry about the fact that you're only going in one direction. Now, modified. Right? and then just low, one knee, and then shuffle. Keep going. Ten seconds. One more round. And stand. Nice work. Next move, only your left arm, okay? Left arm cross punch. Both arms lift up knee, pulled, pull back, lift the knee. Left arm, right knee. You ready? Three, two, one. Cross punch, hit. 
Should I have told you that this round has five moves? <laughs> evil laugh, cute evil laugh. Ah. <laughs> we are still gonna finish though with another balancing exercise. 10 seconds. Energy. One more. Now, you can choose, depending if your weights are light, you can put them into just your right hand. If you want to still hold an each, that's fine too. You can also drop one weight and hold your hip, okay? So, my right arm is up, my right leg is out. Lift up crunch, and let's go. Sorry if my words are off a little bit this morning. I'm still waking up. This is what live is all about though, right? It's not about being perfect, it's just about getting a good workout in. Now here, I'm focusing on my right oblique. See where I'm tapping? I'm pinching that muscle as I lift the knee. And I'm really contracting the side of my body. I have an awareness of the back muscles, shoulder blade pulling down the back. For the last 15, let's pick it up, ready? Five, four, three, two, good. Okay, now, one weight in each hand, watch my legs. Cross, open, alternate. The arms are gonna do the same with my palms facing forward. Ready? Three, two, one. Cross, alternate. Now, if you have heavy weights, let's do this without weights, or you have the option of dropping to one weight and pushing forward instead. Oh, and I, that just totally ruined my, my game. Maybe push up instead. <laughs> Good. Keep going, I'm gonna show you an alternate option for those of you not jumping. Right? Keep going. 10. In five. And rest. Woo! Okay. We're now going to just use one weight. This is your fifth move. You're going to come back to a plank. Now, you want the weight, if you have a mat, let's say it's on the outside of the mat. So it's outside of your left wrist. Now come into a plank, legs wider than your hips. You're going to reach with your right arm to grab the weight and bring it to the other side. And then left arm reaches and grab. Let's go. Now, your goal in this, the main thing is to watch what your butt is doing. You don't want to be rocking. You don't want to be lifting up as you reach for the weight. So you stay low in that plank. It's completely stable as you do this move. Also, being mindful about where your wrist is in relation to your shoulder, you want to keep it directly underneath your shoulder. 10 seconds. Last one. Good. All right, grab each weight. Come to stand. Yay! Okay, watch my arms here. With your palms facing in, your knees are soft. Again, we're going to be standing on your right leg with your left leg back. Arms forward. Begin flying your arms back. Let me give you a side profile of this. Notice my arms are going back behind me. My chest is up. Balancing. Lift the leg. Of course, you can always choose just to keep that leg down. Ten seconds here, and then we go into round two of round two. Last one. Come to stand. All right, so now, if you started here before, you're now going to start here because we're going to go high knees, low shuffle, pushing forward. Ready? In three, two, and go.
I'm going to remind you, for those of you that need modified, I'm going to do it on this next one. You ready? Here we go. You have 15 seconds. Last five. All right. Right arm, cross, left knee, up. You ready? Let's go. Deliberate. Punch it out. But don't be violent. Non-violence. Just frustration. Let that frustration go. in my left hand. You can have your hand on your hip, left leg out, left arm up, side oblique crunch. Let's go. Really contract that side body. More than halfway done with this workout. You're doing so great. 10 seconds. Last five. Two more. Good. All right, jumping jacks, arms facing forward, cross, open. Ready? And go. Let me try to mess with that other one again. So, if you're holding heavy weights, I wonder if you push up. Yeah, that works. Let's do that instead. Okay, so if you're holding those heavy weights, push those arms up to the sky. And if that doesn't feel good, just keep them on your body. Hug, cross. Squeeze those inner thighs. Light on the body. Ten. Five. And relax. Coming down to cross. Whoa. Only one weight. Arms on the floor. Step back and go. Cross. Cross. Now let me show you the modify. You can be on your knees in a diagonal as you reach for the weights. Keep those hips still. I'm checking the time. 20 seconds. exercise. Left leg is forward, right leg is back, pitch your upper body forward, chest open, fly. Catch your breath. I'm going to turn to the side for you. Those of you who want to take the leg up, now's the time. Balance. This is so great to do after we just did that plank, right? because the plank worked the front of the body and this is working the back of the body. Turn your right toes, if your leg is up, down to the floor, parallel hips. I just had to remind myself of that. Good, last 10 seconds here. Abs up, five. And relax. All right, grab your water. So next up, here's how this is working. 
Ever heard of Tabata? So, it's going to be a very, very quick set with your own body weight, no weights at all. I'm actually going to grab my phone so that I can stay true to the time. But this is how this is going to work. We're not doing the full four minutes of each round. We're doing two. Okay, so for those of you that are not familiar with this, the way it works is you do one move. We're going to do four rounds of it. 20 seconds of doing it, 10 second break. 20 seconds, 10, right? Four times. And we're going to do a total of four moves. Total, okay? Are you ready? Let me get my timer. First one is going to be fast feet. Now, if you want to, you can do step back, step back. So it goes fast feet, step back, step back. More advanced, fast feet, jump, jump. Okay, are you ready? Clock has started. Get prepared. You have five seconds here. Four, three, two, and let's go. Fast feet, step back, step back, fast feet, or jump, jump, go. And break. 10 seconds. Three more times of that. Five, four, three, two, go. You got it. Chest up, light on the body. Finish it. Rest. Rest. All right, two more of those. Remember, if you're super tired, do the modified. The goal is to keep moving. Ready? And go. Hi. It's fun, right? Kit to find fun. You have a warped version of fun, kid. Last one. And relax. Yes. Woo! Oh, that feels good. Okay. Last one. You ready? And go. You can also, you know, just choose to do the fast feet. That's a hard move in itself. Last set here. All right, break. Break. Workout pause. Okay. Next up, we have mountain climbers. The idea is to go fast, right? However, if you're finding that you're super tired, you can do modified on your knees or just slow tap. Otherwise, you run it out. Okay, ready? Four rounds. Three, two. Your workout. Hold on, I messed up my time going five. Four, three, two, and go. Exercise. Draw your chest forward. Ten seconds. Five. And rest. rest. All right, three more rounds. How you doing? I know. Now you've got to go internal. Now you gotta fight for it, okay? We're in this together. And go. Ten seconds. And rest. Rest. Woo! Two more rounds. Oh, it feels so good. Okay, let's get back to it. Two more. And go. Exercise. Try not to tuck your chin. I just have to tell myself that. Last five. Rest. Oh, man. One more. And you get a little rest. Ready? And go. Exercise. Ten seconds. Five. Rest. Woo! Pause. Pause. Okay. Come on up. Grab 
grab some water if you need it. All right, the next round, think of it like a ball slam, okay? So imagine so you're holding a ball, you go up, you slam, up, slam. Here's what I don't want to see. A folding in the back. It's in your legs. Up, bend, up, bend, up, bend. So you go up onto the toes. Those of you who want to jump, don't let me stop you. Okay. Ready? In five, four, three, two, go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, man. You got five seconds here. In four, three, two, and one. My thing stopped working. You guys, live classes. They are real. Okay, I'm gonna use my actual timer. Are you ready? In four, three, two, and go. Good, and jump if you want to. Five. Rest for 10. That app did not work for me. I'm using a regular old timer. Ready? Three, two, and go. Sit that booty back. Jump if you want. Five. Rest. One more. In five. Ready? And go. So I'm just gonna hop this one. Sit back. Slam that ball. Last ten. Five. And rest. All right. For the last round of Tabata, I'm gonna have you grab one weight. But actually, grab both just for hand, being handy. This is the last one, and then we go into some focus work. All right, are you ready? We're gonna go into bird dog. You're on your hands and your knees. The left leg extends, the right leg goes back, but we're gonna add core as you pull in and out. Ready? And go. Lift out of that right shoulder. Strong core. 10 seconds. Five. And rest. All right, we're gonna do that one more time on the same arm, and then two times on the other arm. In five, four, three, two, and let's go. Now, of course, if extending the leg does not work for you, you can just do the arm. 10 seconds. Last five. And relax. Let's switch to the other. Last five, here we go. Three, two, right arm, left leg, and curl. One more round. You're doing so great. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and go. Last ten. In five. And relax. Beautiful work, everybody. All right. Now, with that one weight, I want you to come to lie down onto your back. Hopefully, your heart rate has gone down a little bit from that bird dog. 
that allows you to be able to safely lie down onto your back with your blood pressure not dropping, okay? So if you still feel really out of breath, please sit here for a moment before you come to join me on your back. Okay, so here we go. You're lying down. Your legs are wider than your hips. Now they're flexed. The weight is in the right arm. Take that arm straight up to the sky. You can have the left hand on the floor or across your body. When you come up, flex your feet, lift up to the sky, then take that right arm and cross to your left leg. Then take the arm up and bring it back down. Ready? Go. Up, cross, up. Now some of you are going kit. Okay. Nice. I like that, except I can't actually roll up. Thanks for that. So let me show you a, a modified version. I want you just to stay up. You're just going to saw center. Saw center. What you should feel in that is still that waist work, and you should still feel the back and the hamstring stretch. Saw. Up. Saw. Last one. Come on down. Let's switch legs. I mean, switch arms. Excuse me. Wow. My words today. Tomorrow will be better. Up. Cross. Up. Down. Up. Cross. Lift. Cross. Breathe. Two more. Up, stretch, up, down. Last one, up, stretch, up, and down. Okay, so now, with the weight in your left arm, we're gonna come to a modified side plank. And I'll give you guys the option for those who wanna take it up. Your right elbow is directly underneath your shoulder. Your knees are bent here, both knees are stacked. Take your left elbow to the rib cage, holding this position, you're gonna go down in the hip, lift up, and then rotate for a rotator cuff exercise. Down, up, rotator cuff. If you wanna take it up a little bit, you can take that left leg and hover it over the floor. Down, up, rotator. Down, up, rotator. Now, if you're not sure what the rotator cuff is, it's that muscle in the shoulder that gives you that V look in the arm, that V look in the shoulder. You want to make sure, though, that that elbow is in a fixed position, that you're just ro rotating the wrist to the sky. Ten seconds. Last one. And relax. Shake that out. And let's switch. So modified side plank. Now, of course, if staying down on your hip is your best option for you today, please do that, okay? Honor your body, come on up. Option to extend, and notice my wrist is in line with my elbow, and we go down, up, good. Down, up, Really feel that left side working. You might even feel that right outer thigh as well. Last one, and relax. All right, so I'm gonna face you for this and then I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see both angles. So your legs are bent, feet on the floor. You only have the weight in your right arm. Now extend your arms forward as though you're holding a big beach ball. Chest is up. You're gonna round down about halfway and when you do that, the arms open. And then you come up and you switch to the other hand, out and up. So let me demonstrate in the side. Back and up. So you wanna to get to that place where you really feel challenged, where it feels like, ooh, I'm not sure that I can get myself back up without really pulling into my abs. Inhale, exhale. With the weight going out to the side, that works your obliques, those stabilizer muscles. We worked the obliques though, when we were doing those plank rows and the weight pass underneath the body, 
All that was really getting into those obliques. Good. Last one here. And relax. Come on down to the floor for your very last move. Yay! Okay. You're holding the weight in your left hand for right now. Take your right leg up to the sky. Now you're gonna come into a crunch position and bring that weight behind the leg. This is option one. Now of course, if it hurts your back or hamstring, keep that leg bent. Let's begin crunching up and forward. Up and forward. Now for those of you that are more advanced, you're gonna take this left leg that's bent and you're gonna extend it. Now never should I feel a lot of pressure in the neck. You imagine as though my hands are underneath your shoulders and I'm lifting you from there. Good, you have 10 seconds here. Last five. And relax. Take your left leg up. Remember you can keep it bent. Take the weight behind the leg. Begin your crunches. Feel the energy coming from the shoulder blades. Now if you're more advanced, here we go. Pull into those abs, last 10. Strong legs, go five, and relax. Okay, to cap that all off, I know I said that was the last move, but this is part of the last move. We're gonna do a figure eight in between the legs. Now, option to keep the legs bent, more advanced straight, but no twisting of the body. You ready? Last 30 seconds here, three, two, and go. Go inside the leg, inside, inside, inside. If you're not holding the weight, just tap the hand, tap the hand. Remember, modified bent. Feel free to also keep your head down if you need it. This is your last 10. You can do it. This is it. We've been it, we're in it together. Go to five, four, three, two, whoa. Done. Yeah. You guys, you did it. So many technical problems on my end. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Live classes. Okay, let's stretch, yeah? Cool. Okay. Coming onto your knees. Let's stretch out your hip flexors in the front of your core. And right leg forward. You want to make sure that that knee is in line with your ankle. Bring your hands down first to feel that stretch of the hip. Bring your hands up to the knee, push the knee away. Holding this, take your left arm up and open. Stay there, I'm gonna to turn towards you so you can see what the front of my body is doing. So notice that my feet are hip width, my knee and my knee are hip width, arm is up, reach over. So you should feel this nice stretch through the front of the body. Remember that the core is not just here, it's also certain back muscles, things that help stabilize the hips, especially in Pilates philosophy, the powerhouse is so much more than just your stomach, right? So here you really wanna stretch out the side of your body, feel that stretch between the rib cage and that intercostal, and then switch. Arm up and over. Heart up. And relax. Good. Now from here, I want you to lie down onto your side. So let's start with uh, your left side. So I know it probably looks opposite to you, right? But come down to your left. Now keep your bottom leg bent. You're resting here. You're just going to grab for your right ankle. You can straighten out the bottom leg if that feels okay for you. What you want to do is take your tailbone, which is back here, wrap it under, 
Keep it like that and then start to draw your knee back. And then from here, bring your knees forward. Take both arms forward in front of you and then open up your top arm back. And then bring that in, come on up for the other side. Grabbing that left ankle, tailbone under as you draw the knee back. And then bring the knee in, arms forward, open up. And then come on in, come to sit up. Sitting cross-legged or whatever feels comfortable, start to roll your shoulders. And then reverse that. Take your right hand to your left ear, gently drop, stretching out the neck. You can take your left arm, stretch it away for an even deeper stretch. Be very gentle here. And then up, let's switch. Hands behind the head, drop the chin. Coming up, finishing with deep, three deep breaths. Inhale up and exhale. Two more up. Exhale. Last one up. Palms come together, hands to the heart, close your eyes. Silently saying one thing that you are so grateful for. Open your eyes, place your hands onto your heart. You guys did it. Thank you for joining me. So, I'm gonna grab the iPad, bring it closer to me so I can see your questions and comments. Again, I am so sorry about those technical difficulties that happened in the middle. My app froze on me and I couldn't get the timer. <laughs> Usually I have uh, somebody helping me with that. Like right now, usually I'm able to do this better too. There we go. Oh, here we are. Hi. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Pilates. Fusion. So it's going to be some mat Pilates with a little bit of cardio. It's going to be a 30 minute workout. And I recommend if you have it, um, if you could grab your Kitschko resistance band, resistance loop, excuse me, and if you don't have one, do not worry, you're still gonna get a great workout. Wow, my brain is mush. Whew, how do you guys feel? Oh my gosh, I couldn't get my words out today. You guys see now live is a whole different ball game. Can I show you guys how I do this? See how, um, well, can I just stop? You know what, I can't, here. Let me show you. I write down, I have in front of me, I have my computer showing me the time, and then on my phone was doing the Tabata app. <sighs> Do you guys see all my lights behind me? Whew. Okay, how are we feeling? Thank you guys. So someone told me that they can't read the comments, so I'm gonna read them when I see them. Um, thank you, Kate. I'm so grateful for these workouts. I'm grateful to be able to do them with you. Someone said that was a hard one. Someone said you're the best. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Cactus babe. <laughs> um, a whole new experience this live exercise. Yes, it is for both of us. You make static stretching fun. My, thank you. Thank you. People are saying great, super. Thank you, everybody. Um, does anybody have any questions about the moves that we did so that I can answer anything Someone just said, amazing, 
comments are going up, so I'm trying to read them as fast as I can. You're welcome, Mary. Someone said my body says thanks. Someone said that was super challenging. I'm so sweaty and beat, but in the best way. Thank you. And someone said 45 minutes felt awesome. And someone said love working in the back. Uh, someone said sore. <laughs> and someone said I had such a 